Good morning, I'm Lovecasting Live in the Serious Joy Garden Studios in Costa Mesa, California, and this is your Monday Namaste Today. Good morning and namaste and welcome to Namaste Today. My name is Christopher Wateki. I'm a psychic astrologer in the Sensei to Serious Joy and at your soul service. Thank you so much for logging in. We are lovecasting live today from Costa Mesa. It's finally starting to cool off a little bit. I'm in my yoga chic pajamas, which is uh, kind of the due direction I want to be because I really want to spend a whole day shooting so I can be in my spirit that whole day and just feel it and feel cool. But it was super hot. And we had a full moon over the weekend. Hope you survived that full moon. I had given advice that it was all about kind of staying with the self-compassion and focus on the new uh, reality and not focused on the old reality, the old bents, the old hang-ups, etc. Well, today we've reached kind of a, an apex, the first big moment, I think, of the transit where it's time to make a commitment now there's a no turning back kind of energy, and you must decide. Step eight rules a day, and that is I decide. Now, with Virgo, Virgo is reality, period. Like, whether or not you're subscribed for a reality or reality, it is what is most real. It is what our heart thinks matters, turns into matter. And so you're basically deciding today what you don't, definitely don't want to turn. Now, you don't have to have all the details, although Virgo will make you feel like you do, so I just want to say that over and over again. You don't have to know all the details. You just have to know what you're not, who you're not, and what reality you won't be a part of anymore, and you have to be certain to make that decision. Now, the reason why it is so crucial today is because uh, in the astrology, or in the cosmic clock, the sun is directly opposing Neptune. Neptune is at Retrograde step eight, and the sun today is direct, of course, always step eight of Virgo. So what we have here is a kind of a, a mutual, we've come into the vortex, if you will, all right? And although Jupiter is really the anchor of the vortex on, and on the early end of step three of the vortex, we're now kind of in the eye of the energetic storm some, to some degree. Now Jupiter and Neptune will be coming together on September 17th where, they, where, the, where it really opens up, but we you know, are passing through the eye of the storm. Don't forget, Earth is on the opposite side of the sun. So, um, you know, when it, so that means Earth is, is literally got its butt up against Neptune, okay? And so we're like, wow, <laughs> you know, like in the psychic waves. What does that mean? Well, it means I predict, you know, like the weekend, you know, the weekend might have been intense, the weekend might have been uh, 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 completely uneventful and just happened in your dreams. It depends on what level you're on or what act your life kind of is in. But for a lot of people on Earth, I would argue, is probably going to be pretty intense where it came down to some sort of realization between two worlds, two directions, um, two, and also two approaches, two approaches to yourself with the North Node um, uh, and Mercury and all that energy in early Libra. So now today, we come to the decision. The decision of, all right, what are you going to commit to? What are you going to let go of? And are you really serious about it? Uh, if so, follow through soldier, so to speak. Uh, and so today, that's exactly what we're going to do. So it is time to decide. And I do want to put out there, uh, before I go into this, that um, this came up earlier in between shows, that um, prayer works and angels answer prayers. I'm going to share a story, actually, an angel story some s soon. I'm going to start sharing some stories with people um, of absolute from my own, my own sense. And I used to keep all these to myself, but now I'm just like, you know what, I'm just going to share them, but I'm going to share them in the Psychic Lounge on the, on the website. But I have, been, uh, I have been told to tell you that, um, you know, for those who, who heart need help right now, this is the time you ask, okay? So without further ado, uh, let's log in and say hi to my guides and um, see what the plants have to say today. So, yeah, there's, um, okay, so the first thing that comes up is, mis is misconception. There's a little warning here I have to close. <laughs> is misconception or delusion. So this, you know, for, I get, okay, so what comes in is that um, they're showing me images of stuff. It's like some people are not going to make the right choice, and this is not the time to sacrifice oneself for someone else. This is not the time to sacrifice uh, oneself for someone else. Uh, and that's not saying that, well, no, and you need to be very clear. Like, I just saw an image of, uh, 
you know, in some cases, some people have to choose them or someone else is what I'm being shown. And if you're hearing this uh, and this resonates, please know that it's for you. But there's uh, definitely some intensity where some choices are, you know, put your own oxygen mask on. Some When some people hold on to some people, they would have drowned a long time ago without you. And it's not that we are letting people drown. It's not that we are responsible for them drowning. It's that we're responsible for our life and, and our life first. And people may get stuck uh, in that line between a rock and a hard place, basically, is what I'm being shown there. And so you really have to be very clear on where you belong, is what I'm feeling. A lot of heavy feelings. You know, there's a lot of heavy energy that is attached to this day. I think it's because for some people, especially Virgos, you know, like, do you guys ever see the Jetsons? You ever see the Jetsons? I remember there was this, like, maid in the Jetsons. This, and I remember one time the maid got depressed. It was like, oh. And, and honestly, when a, when a Virgo is depressed, like, they can be really heavy. And that's what I'm getting is, like, this heavy feeling. It's, um, and you know what? That is your choice. You're making these things matter when they don't have to matter. And so there be, the more they matter, the heavier and more real they get because your, your energy is going into it. And now with Jupiter and all this stuff in, in Virgo, it's there. So you have to be very clear as what they're showing and aim for what your heart wants, where your heart belongs, where you believe you belong. And stay focused on that. Now, today the moon finishes, um, you know, this morning it finishes up a very spiritual weekend. We had the moon in Pisces on Sunday. So yesterday was very cloudy, very strange, but yet a full moon. Um, a lot of weird energies there, uh, maybe transposed, maybe strange dreams. A lot of people being connected. I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of, you know, I'm see we have a vortex open. So there's a lot of dead. There's a lot of ghost activity right now, a lot of that sort of thing. But now the moon goes into Aries, so people's ego is getting charged up, and that's the thing. You're, you might feel very impatient. They keep pushing me to Mars at 14. You might feel very impatient and not have the, um, uh, not know what to do with that energy. And they're saying you aim for where you belong. Is what you do with that energy. You aim for you aim for where you belong. I belong there. I belong as president of the company. I belong married. I belong single. I belong healthy. I belong. I belong. And that's what you affirm. It's kind of like the train of I think I can. I think I can. And that's what you do. Now, um, again, Black Lilith is, you know, for some people, they still can't see past their fears. You know you know what changes fear? You, you bring light to it. Light is information. Light is people. Light is help. Light is resources. Light is prayer. Light is laughter. Light is music. Light is a lot of things. So when, if you're afraid of something, turn on the music. Bring in the prayer. This is not a time at all, what I'm seeing um, in this decision-making, to m make any decisions based on fear. Uh, a lot of, I think, issues with the stock market is because it's based on fear. People buy and sell based on fear. They're not buying and sell based on products they love. They're buying and selling based on things they're afraid of. So um, so fear is collapsing right now. There's a lot. That's, there's, that's what they're showing me. It's like, Fear is collapsing because they're like bubbles underground and like eventually the, the earth just settles on it and this is Virgo. So there could be some earth stuff coming up I can feel too actually. There might be some earth, um, yeah, there might be some earth shaking actually going on as well too, which is interesting. I haven't really got that before. So I would say, you know, people, you know, people are not to worry. If your heart is where it belongs, then you'll be fine. If your heart is holding on to the old stuff, if your heart is holding on to the stuff that you know is over, if the heart is holding on to the, um, the old fights then you could be hurt. And with the moon in Aries today, um, this primal energy is designed to get you out of dodge, to get you out of the situation, to get you on the path that you want, and be mindful of your happy thoughts. Jupiter, that's what he has brought me to. Wow, okay, so what's going on here, which I had not even no idea. I was just kind of feeling all of it. On top of this decision, the reason why today is so, so energetically jumpy, even though I feel like it wouldn't be so crazy, is Jupiter at step four. So... We now have the expansion planet saying, okay, you have to be where you belong now. You could have hung out and said goodbye on the edge up until this point. You could have, you know, like been still waving. I'm thinking of that airplane movie where it's like she's hitting telephone poles and stuff. And she's trying to like, bye, I still love you. And she's chasing after him. And it's like, like that's the, uh, that's the kind of like holding on too long sort of thing. It's like now people will get hurt. You will hit a telephone pole chasing after what you don't belong anymore. Like he's off to war like, um, or whatever. So, um, so it is time to chase after where you belong. It's time for your heart to be there. Oh my goodness. Mercury is also at step four today. So our mind also needs to be aligned to where we belong. So let me just recap. We need to be very clear about where we belong. We need to not allow our fears to get in, in, in the way. We need to uh, accept and receive in our mind the happy thoughts. That's, that's been very fluid for a while now is to keep happy thoughts. And I know why. Uh, I know why because uh, um, uh, Virgo is duality, which is step 11. And I've realized Gemini is duality, which is step five, but it's the duality of the Gemini. So it's like you have to basically keep both sides positive and going and going forward. 
All right, and that's all it is for today. So check my blog for more information. If you don't know, I write a fabulous blog, and I include information for each of the 12 signs. That's at soulgarden.tv. Until then, thank you so much for being a part of my show, and I'll see you in 24 hours with more. I love you, and live, love, be. So.